All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk on if Black Ops 6 is the best COD right now because I'm seeing a lot of people play it. And it's like for the first time, seeing people... I like I am seeing people that's playing Warzone, but seeing people play the campaign, seeing people play multiplayer, seeing people play zombies... It's actually refreshing seeing how much the other game modes are like, you know, they're getting played. And I'm like, fam, finally, about time, you know, Call of Duty actually sat down and took the time to focus on other aspects of the game. Hopefully they continue that. But I don't know. Me personally, I think it is going to be on some silly stuff where it's like they're going to focus on it for this time's sake. And then they're going to go right back to focusing on uh, Warzone because I, I just, I don't know, like I've lost, I've lost my trust when it came to uh, Call of Duty. But I'm like, my thing is, is this, we all know that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to come out next year. So it's like, if you, my thing is this, all right, this would be, this is going to be more so an advice giving episode towards Activision about Call of Duty Black Ops 6 because I want this game to be good, all right? And I want future Call of Duty games to be good, but in order for it to be good, you have to listen to your audience. You cannot come out with a game and not listen to your audience. Because there is a game currently, right now, going through them same problems. The uh, video game Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Yeah, the developers decided we just going to come out with a game and we ain't going to listen to the audience. We'll partially listen to them, but we ain't going to all the way listen to them. And uh, yeah, they had uh, recently came out with an update where they tweaked the AI rather than just adding a AI difficulty settings where you can either play the game on easy medium or hard they're like oh let's just tone it down a little bit but we still gonna have it where the AIs it's like they just magically drive um better than whatever than the person that's playing the game the person that went out and paid money for the game I I the thing is, is this that's as if like when you're let's say for an example you did go out and buy Call of Duty Black Ops 6 that's it is if they made it to where the zombie AIs in there um play better than you why would you want to play that? Why Why would anybody want to play a game where the AIs is going to be playing better than me? It's like, it's fam, you, it's things like that that you got to sit down and think about. It's like nobody wants to play a game where the AI, unless the game is designed that way, where the AI is going to be playing better than you. But at the same time, it's like that's when you have to be strategic. That's when you have to have a skill. Okay, but I, well, you know what? No, let me erase that all right because then people are gonna be like yes you're having a skill issue no it's not a skill issue all right so let me correct myself on that if i feel like that when skill issues when that gets um starts getting talked about that's if you don't know how to play that particular game all right but i think i know how to play racing games i've been playing racing games since i was a kid i don't think i have me personally I don't think I have no skill issues when uh, playing that game. And I just I just remember when people, they were trying to say that crap with uh, Test Drive when I had uh, started playing it um, a couple of months back. And they was like, oh, you're having a skill issue. I'm like, no, a skill issue is when you ain't never played a game before and you're trying to figure out what's going on. I've been playing racing games. I Okay, just to kind of give y'all a little bit of a history lesson, then I'll get into talking about uh, Call of Duty. But um, yeah, I've been playing racing games since the Nintendo 64. Now, you do the math. It's 2024. Nintendo 64, I was like, because I was born in 96, probably after a year or two, then yeah, that's when my uh, parents decided to put a controller in my hand. And I was like, maybe I think it was probably after a couple of years, two, three years, maybe, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I'm like, fam, I, I trust me on that. I ain't struggling on playing no racing game when that's one of the first few types of genre of video games I started off playing. So that's why I'm like, I ain't hearing no skill issue crap. But no, it's just funny, though, because I just remember when people were saying that now when you look at the game, the game got bad ratings. And that's the thing where I'm like, if you sit down and you take the time to listen to your fans, you don't have to worry about your game having bad ratings. But anyways that's what's going on with test drive now i'm afraid that that same thing is going to be with call of duty that they're going to do the wrong thing and that the game's going to have bad ratings now currently right now i believe that the game is sitting at a mixed rating on steam now how could that mixed rating go up to a let's just say mostly positive you know at least let's just get them to a mostly positive uh settings but Let's see where it's, uh, yeah, it's still currently at mix with only 5,000 reviews. Now, I don't, well, yeah, there's probably people out there where it's all like, I could just go and play the game on uh, the Xbox Game Pass. I ain't got to go out and buy the game. So if anything, that's probably why. But um, no, let's see if uh, on my Xbox, 
they don't have it where it's all like, oh, it has like an 82 um, meta score and things. So I guess it's doing the reviews is better on uh, Xbox, but uh, they don't have like nothing where it shows like the star ratings on um, on uh, the Xbox app. It's like you got to go on to like, you got to turn on your, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Okay. Uh, two, what? What does that mean? Two stars? I, that's weird. I don't know why they got it set up like that. I'm like, you guys, Xbox, update your app to where I can look at reviews better. How, how about that? But anyways, but yeah, let's just say that currently right now the game got two stars. Okay, so how can it go up to being at least just four or even if they if they really trying to aim for the best, how can it get up to five stars? You got to add a lot of different content into Call of Duty Black Ops 6. That's the main way. So with the um, campaign, you got to add more missions. You can't just add the campaign that we got now because I don't know if they... who did Was it them that said that they were going to skip out on making another Call of Duty? Hold on for a second. Let me ask. Or, you know, let me uh, Google it. Um, is another COD coming out after Black Ops 6? Let's just see uh what will no what will call of duty is like a report suggests that 2025's call of duty will borrow the same near future setting as most of black ops 2 carrying forth the story of david mason following an attempt world to all right so i guess you know that uh that might be good if they're doing like a uh because yeah black ops 6 i would say that it feels like a a newer version of black ops 1 you know in a way but i wouldn't say it was all the way like black ops 1 in my opinion is still going to be the better black ops 2 will probably um it's probably neck and neck between 1 and 2 because in my opinion it's like i i can't discredit one you know it's like so i i gotta give one its flowers but i would probably say um out of all the black ops games like two what probably would be the uh better black ops but um yeah it's like in my i don't know just with me it's like it's like neck and neck with one and two and stuff three four and uh cold war it's like yeah it's just you know three i would say it was good on pc four it was it was all right i just remember playing it a lot with an old friend of mine's um and then uh uh yeah black ops cold war cold war i had to say more so when i got into content creating like when i started streaming i felt like that cold war kind of had a good thing going on but still it was being um you know shadowed out by uh um war zone so i'm like yeah if you ain't taking the time to focus on uh um the game then i'm like of course you know war zone's gonna stick out and i'm like okay well then add zombies you know just make it into one big war zone game it seemed like that activision didn't want to do that so it's like okay what do you guys want to do all right and then we can go from there and see how it can work out but i'm just saying it's like coming out with a game blindly and then expecting the fans to love it that's not gonna work that's that's just that is not gonna work at all i'm like my thing is this if you want to uh have a good game if you got good games that came out back years ago then that's what you overall got to do with the games today not overall um you know i mean i guess if you want to re-release them you very well can do that but um no it's like you have to come out with a game where it's like it's going to be better than that one that came out so it's like yeah so overall how can you top black ops one and or like let's just say black ops one all right let's just say black ops one so how can we top black ops one you have to come out with more content that ain't no and that's and the reason why i say that the reason why i say that they need to come out with more content is because if you look at a content creator, for an example, right? Do you think that I would still be able to survive off of the very first video that I uploaded? Do you think I'll be able to survive if I had just gave out portions of a video? Or if I um, added, or yeah, let's say I uploaded a video, but I only focused on one part of the video. Do you think I would survive as a content creator? No, I survived as a content creator because I provided content. That's one thing about it is that you cannot say that I ain't got no content as a content creator where I got uh, probably almost uh, probably well over a thousand uh, uh, streaming videos uh, then uh, thousands of more gaming videos. Let me just check my uh, two um, social blades. So yeah, I'm going to check my main channel and I'm going to check my uh, gaming channel. So let me pop um, pop up a couple of social blade tabs. T Moss Boss Gaming, T Moss Boss Gaming. Okay, so 9,779 videos on my main channel. That's a lot of videos. But, anyways, let me add this uh, math up 979 plus 560. 
five or five thousand six hundred seventy four. That's dang fifteen thousand videos. That's crazy. So, but anyways, I feel like when was the last time I counted that up? And I feel like it was it was was it thirteen or fourteen thousand? Dang, I uploaded like a like close to a thousand two thousand videos. That's insane. But I got fifteen thousand videos um uploaded on the YouTube, and that ain't even including the other forty eight channels that I got um where there's videos uploaded. So I'm just saying, and I'm like, I and I think yeah, I think it's adding up like all the like shorts. Uh, too, because I'm like, I definitely be uploading a lot of different shorts, especially this year where it's like voiceover videos and um, uh, memes were taken off on my main channel, and then uh, like gaming memes and stuff was taken out, um, taken off on my uh, gaming channel. So, yeah, it's like my thing is, is this I'm not going to be able to survive with less content, you need to have as much content as possible in order for your game to survive. So, what do you overall do? My th and I, the thing is, this because I know people are going to be talking about uh, the money fam you guys y'all literally can do videos on your because i'm trying to think call of duty let's see uh what their social blade is call of duty i imagine that they probably yeah it's like you guys got uh um 2000 dang it's like yeah it's like you guys got like y'all y'all are doing good it, it might not be survive it might be good for like one person or something but still though i'm like if you guys i just feel that if you did more on your gaming channel in case you were wondering like uh like um how can we i guess like add or provide more um for our gaming channel then it's like yeah get content creators involved i'm just saying that and then get this like you know celebrities that you want that you be having in the game get them to do a video of them playing the game i'm just saying to me that just don't make sense because i'm like let, let me just let me just look that up real quick and I'm like, I know I always use Nicki Minaj as an example when I do talk on celebrities um, being in the game. But anyways, playing Call of Duty. Let's just see if that's a thing. There's like, I knew, there's like the, she's in it, but not so much as playing it. And that's, I'm all like, fam, that's, or, yeah, that's not, that's not her playing Warzone. I'm like, I feel like that she had been playing Call of Duty. She, uh, that would have been like breaking news all over and stuff. Yeah, they just showing um her character in the game but i'm like how how many of you, like honestly though call of duty if you said that if you played your cards right how many views you think you would have got on that video if you had Nicki minaj playing call of duty all right or i'm trying to think what other celebrities have they added into their uh games but i'm just saying like if you got it where it's all like you know to promote them being in the video game post the video of them playing the game i feel like that that would do numbers for your guys's channel I'm like having where celebrities or even just other content, but I think that's something that y'all should definitely work on doing. I'm like, there's content creators that be um, playing your guys' game left and right. Put them in the game, you know? Like, I'm saying, like, there's content creators that I follow where I'm all like, fam, they definitely don't put more hours into Call of Duty than Nicki Minaj. I'm like, this is somebody that's literally promoting your guys' game for free, and you, like, I'm saying, at least give them, like, a, a skin of their choosing when, when it comes to the guns in there. If not that, then, yeah, add them into the game. I'm just saying, though, to me, I just find that messed up where it's like, you guys aren't really you know, trying to do nothing to even promote the game even more. And I'm all like, all the stuff that I just said, where it's like adding a lot of different content in the game from story missions, zombie maps, more multiplayer maps, multiplayer options. I'm trying to think uh, what are some other, like game modes and stuff to, uh, for multiplayer uh, what are some other things? Add different things to do in zombies where it's all like, oh, you got to take out as many zombies as you possibly, um, not so much as like the challenges, but just different modes where it's all like, oh, you have to, uh, like, um, take out zombies with a particular weapon or in a certain amount of time, you know, just like to add like more fun to zombies, you know, and then, uh, have like permanent game modes in, uh, multiplayer, meaning like have, um prop hunt i'm trying to think of some other stuff you know like yeah it's just have like a bunch of different types of modes in there uh missions a lot of missions to do in uh campaign but i'm like that's how you get the audience to like oh wow like this game got a lot of different content because when you look at games like fortnite what do they got a lot of different content when you look at games like gmod what did it got a lot of different content remember when halo uh when they had like more so like during the xbox 360 days dude like especially with 
reach. I just remember the amount of content that that game had, and I'm like, fam, this is insane. I'm like, this is wild for a game to have that much. And I was, I, I think that was like one of the first few times I played a game where it had a lot of content like that. So I'm just saying, it's like if you want Call of Duty to do good, you gotta add a lot of content in that game. You can't just come out with the bare minimum and expect people to have the full maximum amount of love for that game. That ain't gonna work. But anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Like, subscribe, viewing this on YouTube. Follow, subscribe, viewing this on podcast streaming service. Thank you guys and peace.